this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the variety of different types of brushes that are available in Illustrator to recreate a photograph I'm going to provide to you in an artistic form. So the goal is to use the brushes in Illustrator and come up with your own unique painting of the ballerina. And these are just a few examples of what some of the past students have created. I want you to create your own original. I do not want you to recreate what I'm showing you. I want you to come up with your own beautiful rendering of a ballerina. Okay, let's get started. I want you to place the ballerina that I uploaded to D2L on the page. Okay, it's gonna come in pretty small, but if you hold your shift key down, you can drag it and make it larger and center it on your page. Then what I want you to do, is go to Object, Lock, Selection, or Command 2. Then what I want you to do is take your paintbrush and open up your paintbrush palette. Remember, if you don't find it off to the side, go down to Window, down to Brushes, and you can open it from there. What I would do is I would drag it out along with your swatches so that you have both available and they won't open and close every time you toggle back and forth between your options. So these are the default brushes that come when you have it set up for classic essentials. I've got mine set to Suzanne's workspace, but this is what you typically get. So what I want you to do is do these drop downs here and go down to open brush library. And under here, you can see all these other options available spend some time and experiment with them. I think what you're gonna find is most of them that you want are gonna be under artistic. And then under here, you will experiment with which ones are gonna work best for the type of style you're looking for. Artistic calligraphy brush, and as you can see, it does some pretty neat things artistically. Let me see what else can we find. Let's look at artistic and let's just say charcoal pencil and as you can imagine these are basically charcoal style pencils. You can now remember once you do this you can assign these to any color right so don't forget you can do that you can also come up here and modify the point size to your brushes right and if you want them uniform or if you want to apply another technique to it you sure can do that. So let's um, keep going here. Brush library, artistic. So let's say ink. Here's your ink brush. Let me take my brush tool. Isn't that fun? You might find some really cool ones that you like. And again, don't forget you have these brush sizes, but you can do any size you want. You can modify these. Right, you can experiment, so please do. All right, artistic, let's say paintbrush. So let me select all of these off of here. So these are a lot of fun, these are very artistic. So aren't they fun? So take some time and do a really good job on this because I think you'll find it will make an excellent portfolio piece for you. Some of these come with shading already added to them. Can you see that one? Isn't that neat? The goal though is you have to make this recognizable. Somebody needs to recognize that this is a ballerina. So if somebody is not familiar with this project, and they see what you created, they need to be able to see that it is a ballerina. If it can't be recognized as a ballerina, then I would say that you have failed on the assignment. Um, anybody can just put scribbles down, but when you're recreating it, you need to use something that's recognizable to your target audience. So in this case, it's going to be the ballerina. My favorite for this type of assignment is the watercolor. You can see all the different kinds here. And what's neat is, um, again, they have a variety of different contouring shadowing with them, which is really neat. And don't forget, you can change the color. So take your selection tool after you've painted it, go up here and change 
the stroke thickness if you'd like and if it's uniform or not uniform. So you gotta take your paintbrush, select the style paintbrush you wanna do. Isn't that neat? Then take your selection tool, select that stroke, and then come up here and change the width of your stroke. So I don't wanna show you exactly how I want it rendered. I'm just trying to show you the tools to use. It's up to you to come up with your own rendering, your own color palettes, um, whatever you want to do. So don't forget under swatches, you can go under swatches, open swatch library, and pick a different color. You don't have to use the default swatches that are in here. You can come in for celebration, artistic art, renaissance. Look at all the colors that come up under renaissance. Open swatch library. You can go to art history for ancient. Look at those color palettes. You could do something really fun. You could say celebration. See all the bright, intense colors. So nature colors, season, landscape, patterns, skin tone colors. So go ahead and spend some time. Pick out the right color combinations and the right brushes and the right um, applications to apply the right effects that you want to apply. And maybe you want to use something where you are using your transparency layers and maybe you want to also add something a layer here that you might want to make uh, let's just say you want to make it transparent or you want to multiply it so spend some time on here and do a really good job and I look forward to seeing what you create the ballerina projects an excellent project to try using a tablet and stylus pen with we use Wacom in my office we have a small and large sizes they come in really handy when you're illustrating or painting something, um, even working in Photoshop. If you don't have one, you can check them out online. There's a range of prices depending on the type of capabilities you want. And I believe if you've got like a Samsung or even an iPad, I think you can just buy an Apple pen to go with the iPad and a Samsung pad. And so I don't even think you need to have a whole tablet anymore, but this is how I learned how to do it. So I highly recommend you check it out. If you're able to get onto the campus in one of the labs, they should have them there for you to try as well. But they're a lot of fun and you've got a lot more freedom when you're painting and illustrating than you do when you use a mouse. So if you've got a tablet and you've got a stylus pen, this would be an excellent project to use it on.